Hi, this is Jessica from Asbury Woods. Welcome back to my art room. We got so many nice messages from people who enjoyed our tree draw along, but I thought it might be fun to do another draw along together. So this one, you'll only need a pencil and paper, and we're gonna draw one of Asbury Woods' most popular staff members, Finnegan the Ferret. So grab your pencil and paper and come on into my art room. Hi friends, it's nice to see you. I hope you enjoyed learning how to draw my cute little body. Okay, we're gonna get started by drawing a couple circles that will be Finnegan's body. Bigger one towards the back. And then another circle up top for his head. Now that we have a basic body shape, we're gonna draw some lines to use as guides for his face. Now all of these lines we wanna do lightly because we're going to end up erasing them at the end. So the guides here are just meant to show us where to draw. So we're gonna give a circle for his snout and it only goes to the edge of the head circle. And then we're gonna give him some legs. So the leg that is on the right that looks like it's in the back will be a little shorter and then we'll draw a slightly longer one to the left um, that looks like it's towards the front. And then his back leg, because his little bum sticks out, his back leg's gonna be a little slanted that way. Okay, so now we're gonna give him a little bit of a neck. So we're just gonna connect our two top circles with a little curve there and continue along like a little mountain around his bum. And then we'll give him a nice tail that sticks out down towards the ground. And then his belly kind of goes up like another mountain because he's got a skinny little middle. So now we're gonna concentrate on the parts of his cute little face. So when we're making his face, we're gonna add his eyes and you can see they're just above the circle of his snout, kind of evenly spread out over his snout, but not evenly spread out in the head circle. And we'll fill them in and leave just a little bit of white space so that it looks like the, um, the light is reflecting off of his eyes and give him some eyebrow lines there. And then we're gonna wanna kind of outline underneath his eyes as well. So now that he has some eyes and can see us, we're gonna draw like a little seagull like you might draw if you were drawing the ocean. And then we're going to put two little nostrils on the side, line in the middle, and kind of a smile underneath to complete his nose. Now above his nose, we put a little bit of um, kind of a fur line, and now we're gonna add his mouth. So it's again, kind of another seagullish shape. We'll add a little fur there to give it some texture. And then we'll also continue with his little chin. So we've got eyes, nose, and mouth. We're just gonna kind of continue around his snout a little bit following that circle line that we did for a snout. And then we'll give him some whiskers. We'll probably have to fix these whiskers a little bit later, but this will kind of give us an idea of where they go and add a little dimension to his face shape. So we've got some nice whiskers, it's time to add some ears. So I'm gonna start kind of along the circle, starting with the inside of the eye as a guide all the way down to the outside of the eye. And then I'll add one that kind of balances on the other side. You may have to do this lightly and try a couple times, erase it if you need to. Um, it's okay if you have to try a couple times to get the ears even, but then I'll put a little fur just to give him some texture um, on his little ears. So now that we have ears, we're gonna give him a nice top of his head with a little fur texture. And we'll go in and fill this in a little bit more cleanly later, but just to kind of get us started. And we'll also follow the back of his neck, fill that in a little bit. Um, and then we wanna kind of do his cheeks. Now his cheeks are not perfectly round. You'll notice that he has cheeks and then it narrows down towards his chin. So we're gonna to wanna to make that line um, the right shape. So now we're gonna do the other side of the cheek and fill that in and that kind of lines up with the snout a little bit. So you'll notice that we had the circle as a guide, um, but we did go outside the circle to finish it up. All right, so we're back to working on the body. 
we're going to want to kind of give him an underneath his chin neck area. So we'll draw a line there and kind of fill that in with some texture. And then we're going to start in on his legs. And I'm going to go a little long. I'll probably end up shortening his feet a little bit as I, um, as I finish up. But it gives us kind of a guide as to where to go. Um, so I've got a back leg and I'll add a little texture. A little texture here in between the legs. Like I said, his paws, I'll probably adjust these a little bit, but just to give us kind of a guide. Nice thing about working in pencils, you can erase when you need to. And now I'll work on his front leg and it kind of comes out next to his leg. We're using the lines that we originally drew for our legs, almost like the skeleton inside the leg. And we know that he has um, a little bit of a bulgy kind of thigh area. And so we're gonna make sure that we draw that line too. Continuing to fill in with some texture here, and it doesn't have to be perfect yet because we are, um, just like with our tree, when we drew our trees, we are gonna go back and do our finishing. So we have two legs up front now. Okay, so now we're gonna kind of work a little bit on the back leg. Now the back leg, it does kind of, you know, bend around from that back circle that we drew. And so we're gonna want to kind of fill that leg part in and then go in with the foot. And again, this is a little longer than I'll probably leave it, but I can finish it up and clean it up when we do our finishing. So now we need the back part of the leg. We'll draw that down right from the bum. You can see we're adding, adding more texture. This is not our finished fur, but just to give us te texture so that we know um, kind of where things fall, where they're looking at, we can eyeball it a little bit better. Getting the basic shape of his body. We'll add in a second back leg since he is a four-legged creature. That falls in behind our first back leg. Fill in a little. Just adding texture here, we'll get the, um, the front part of his chest area a little bit. We'll add some texture up here along his back to finish that up. Just following the line that we made um, as the curve of his back. And you can kind of see him really taking shape now, the way that Finnegan stands, kind of leaning forward a little bit. We'll get his skinny little belly um, right along that line. So now we want to go in and just like we did with the legs where the line that we drew was kind of like the skeleton underneath, we're going to kind of fill out and widen his tail a little bit to give it some, some shape. So you can see I'm going right around that line that I started with to give him a bulkier tail. If he were a rat, we might leave it skinny, but he's a nice fluffy ferret. So we're going to want to widen that up a little bit and add some texture to it, just like we did everywhere else. And we're continuing on with the texture at the point of his tail, getting the other side of the tail, a little furry texture for his furry little body. There we have a tail. So now I'm going to go in with my eraser, um, any kind of eraser you have, and we're just going to erase a lot of our guidelines because we have a nice outline of a Finnegan body now. It's time for us to get rid of the lines that we don't need before we start doing our finishing of the whole ferret body. All right, so I have all my guidelines gone. Now I'm going to go back in where I had the circle and I'm going to add some um, some fur areas and I'm just going to go in and this, you know, you can take as much or as little time with this as you want. We're going to go in and add fur all over the parts of his body that are furry. This is when I can kind of finish up my legs a little bit. I can also add some of the shadowing to his face because you notice he's darker in some parts of his face and lighter in other parts, kind of like a mask around his eyes. So we're finishing up a nice mask around his eyes. Just kind of giving him that Finnegan look. So we're gonna go through the whole body now and fill in all the fur. So now that he has fur all over his body 
and we've cleaned up his feet. We're gonna add a little bit of shadowing underneath him as if the light was above him, just to make it look like he's standing on something instead of just floating in midair. And once I do this with my pencil, I'm gonna wanna go back with my finger and just kind of, um, you know, smooth it out a little bit so it's not a bunch of lines. So it really does just look like a shadow underneath him. So here we go, here we have our Finnegan. And so we're gonna sign it, put our initials or our name or however you'd like it. And then I'm also gonna um, label it with the title, which is Finnegan the Ferret. And he's such a, such a special part of our life at Asbury Woods. I'll get his name right on here so everyone knows what it is. There's Finnegan. If you drew along with us, Finnegan would love to see your drawing. So you can email us at info at asburywoods.org or share your drawings with the hashtag AsburyWoodsEerie. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning how to draw Finnegan the ferret today and that you have a cute little ferret picture to put up on your refrigerator at home. Until we can get together in person to have lots of nature fun, please stay safe, stay healthy, get outside and get some fresh air. Don't forget to get creative and I'll see you soon for more virtual visits.